In this video, I'll compare Spotify and Tidal, the plans, pricing, and features. There have been significant changes to Spotify and Tidal's pricing and plans, so I wanted to make a video explaining the differences and comparing them. So let's see how they stack up so you can decide which is best for you. With Spotify, you have access to over 100 million songs, 6 million podcast titles, and 350,000 audiobooks. Spotify has a free plan, which has limitations like you hear audio ads, see banner ads, you can't download songs or listen to songs in any particular order, and songs play in lower quality. However, you can listen to podcasts with this plan. Spotify has several premium plans, and all their premium plans include ad-free listening, download content to listen offline, play songs in any order, higher audio quality than the free plan, listen with friends in real time, and organize a listening queue. Most of their premium plans allow you to listen to 15 hours of audiobooks from their audiobook library at no additional cost, but those hours don't roll over. And if you're on the duo or family plan, only the plan manager has access to the 15 hours of audiobooks. In addition to your 15 hours of audiobooks per month, you can buy a 10 hour top up to listen to more books when your 15 hours runs out. The cost is $12.99 a month. So here are the Spotify paid plans. The student plan is $5.99 a month and includes access to music, podcasts, and the Hulu ads plan, but it doesn't include access to audiobooks and you have to be enrolled at an accredited institution to qualify for this plan. The individual plan is $11.99 a month and includes access to music, podcasts, and 15 hours of audiobooks. The duo plan gives you access to two premium plans and is $16.99 a month and includes access to music, podcasts, and 15 hours of audiobooks per month, but only the plan administrator gets access to the audiobooks. Basic Duo Plan gives you access to two premium plans and is $14.99 a month and includes access to music and podcasts but doesn't include access to audiobooks. The Family Plan gives you access to six premium accounts or kid accounts and is $19 a month and includes access to music, podcasts, and 15 hours of audiobooks per month, but only the plan administrator gets access to the audiobooks. There's an audiobooks only plan that is $9.99 a month and includes 15 hours of audiobooks per month and includes ads based music listening and podcasts. With Tidal, you have access to over 110 million songs. They pay artists more than Spotify does. They have over 650,000 music videos you can watch, which are included for free in all their plans. You can download music and listen offline. You can buy a DJ extension add-on if you're a DJ, and all of their plans offer high-resolution lossless audio and Dolby Atmos listening where available. You can create a live session to get a shareable link to share with others so they can listen with you, but you have to create a profile to do this, and there's a three-hour duration limit. And they don't offer podcasts or audiobooks at all. So here are their plans. The student plan is $4.99 a month and includes access to music in high res, lossless, or Dolby Atmos audio quality, but it doesn't give you access to the Hulu ads plan like Spotify does. However, it's $1 cheaper than the Spotify student plan. The individual plan is $10.99 a month and includes access to music in high res, lossless, or Dolby Atmos audio quality. You also get the option to add the DJ extension to this plan for $9 a month. This add-on is only available with this individual plan. Without the add-on, it's $1 cheaper than the Spotify individual plan. The family plan gives you access to six premium accounts or kids accounts, and it's $16.99 a month and includes access to music in high res, lossless, or Adobe Atmos audio quality, and it's $3 cheaper than the Spotify family plan. Spotify and Tidal are available on almost all major devices, so you won't have any problems accessing them on iOS, Android, smart speakers, and more. 
Both platforms have great song recommendations too, so you won't have any issues with that either. In conclusion, if you want the best audio quality possible and have special equipment that can play high res lossless or Dolby Atmos audio, you like watching music videos on the same platform you stream your music on, you don't mind listening to your podcast on another platform, or if you're a DJ, title may be for you. If you don't mind or don't have equipment that supports the best audio quality, and you like listening to your podcast on the same platform you stream your music on, and want access to audiobooks, then Spotify may be for you. What do you decide? Leave it in the comments. If this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop new videos. I'll catch you on the next one.